if your assessment station is subdural hematoma, that means you're going to be having a special chart as shown on your screen, the GCS chart. All right, in subdural hematoma, it is likely that the patient fell and it is or her head. All right, you want to examine their conscious level. All right, so one, one of those things you're going to check while you're carrying out this assessment is the action of the puppies to light. All right, and it's imperative that you check this correctly. Remember, this station is not going to have um, news. Everything will be documented in these charts that you're seeing on your screen. And how can you effectively check for the pupillary reaction of a patient? It is basically of two methods, and either of these could be adopted. Or it's either this patient is fixing a gaze to your forehead, or why they don't move, move their head or shake at any point in time, all right? And you would flash the light from outer cantus to the inner cantus. You document, usually, it's going to be a life actor and there will be poopy reaction. If, for instance, a light is flashed through you as an human being, you will react to that. So there will be pupillary reaction, and the pupillary reaction will be positive. That's plus sign, okay? And the poopy size for human being will be between two and three. If you are not dead, you are not in coma, all right? It will be between two and three, okay? You do the same. Why the patient is still facing his or her gaze on your forehead, you flash the light, from the left side also from outer cantus to the inner cantus and you check you document what you've gotten failure to properly do this assessor will know when you are not doing it so it is key that you get used to how well you can do this i hope i've helped you to learn something until i come your way in another video keep practicing oski